Okay, so here's how we go about um, solving inverse matrices or solving an inverse matrix um, system using uh, the TI-84. And the most uh, important thing is that we label our matrices. So remember, we're going to want to do A inverse B. So uh, the first thing we have to do is go ahead and put in matrix A and matrix B. So down here, right here, is the X to the negative 1 button. In the blue ink, it says matrix. So click second, and then that button. And we have to go over here to edit and click on A. So we can either press 1 or press enter. And we're going to put in our dimensions. We want a 2 by 2 matrix. So press enter to go to the next slide and 2. And uh, then we just type in our numbers here. So 3, negative 2. 2 and negative 1. Click enter and you can see there's our first matrix. That's our coefficient matrix. Now we want to go ahead and do the same thing with our answer. So click second matrix again. That's going to take you over to the edit menu. Slide two to the right and then we got to come down here to B. So we could either press 2 or slide down and press enter. And matrix B is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix. So we're going to type in 2, enter, 1, enter and you can see it changes the dimension so now we have two rows and one column and then we're just going to type in our numbers two and two and there's our matrix B now we want to quit out so press second mode and there's again the blue word says quit and remember the X matrix which is our variables is just a inverse B we find that by doing a inverse B so in order to call up a we have to go second matrix again. Now instead of clicking over here to the edit, we're just going to stay right in the names menu and just press enter because that's A, matrix A. And then we're going to press the inverse button, which is right here, X to the negative 1. And that gives us our inverse. And then we want to do B. So second, matrix, and then I'm going to click 2, and that's going to put B there. Now when I click enter, it gives me a two by one matrix, as you can see right here, two rows, one column, and we get two, two, which means that X equals two and Y equals two. And that's uh, about all you have to do. Now just remember that your matrix A and matrix B will continue to stay those two matrices that we put in until we go back and change them through the edit feature. So good luck and uh, hope that helped.